So we should put red up here, yellow, green, or red, yellow, green. What do you think? Well, light or should we do What's more light red, color? Red, yellow, green. Whoa. So yellow in the middle, red on one side, green on the other. I think that's what we should do. And we can use some pretty bright colors. I let the kids use them and they just destroy them. I'll, I'll like get a pen and it's just like totally destroyed. Sometimes, you know, like running the shop and stuff is a thankless job. You do something like this, and, you know, people are stoked. You get that gratification of 100%, right? Or, like, if I see a photo of you, like, like you, on this board, I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, you know, I'm stoked. Dude, I've I'm seen like Sheldon on that, that beer can board. I was just like, yeah. I was just like, I was just like, hell yeah. Dude, he lived on that thing. And, you know, and it's just fun. It makes it fun, right? That's what surfing's supposed to be about. A lot of these donkeys missed that whole point. I'm like, what are you doing? Dude, I was all nervous when I got the clear boards. I was like, oh no. Here we go. Did you see Biolas? Did he, or did you just pick him up? I picked him up at Matt's house and I grabbed him. I didn't want to say nothing. I was like, oh, thank you so much. I wasn't gonna. We knew how to buckle down and just get shit done. And I think that's what the end of, in the end, you 
you're either building a reputation as a, a person that gets shit done and you know does it well, or you get the reputation of a flake. Oh yeah. Dude, I can't believe the life you pumped <laughs> to these clear boards. I know. So when I was a kid, I always had shitty boards, and like I was always trying to make them look better. So I like, just cover the whole brown thing. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Mental Posca pants. <laughs> the kids in Puerto loved me. They all had like bringing all. They just boards. had beaters. You're just making and, all the new boards. Are all their boards new? Yeah. yeah, and you just felt so bad for them. You know, you got like this kid that surfs pretty good, and he's just got a freaking dog for a yeah. board, and I'm like. So I started bringing my pens down there and good old color. I remember when you went, I was all bummed I wasn't there longer. I was like, I just wanted to hang with you and get some color and learn how to color more. I think I'm even learning just right off from now. Try not to try so hard. Yeah, and it's like you don't you just can't really care like I'm watching a D you don't really care if you just get the colors together. They just come back eventually. Yeah. I don't know if it's just only you could do that, but... No, that's kind of what I teach people, like, the courses and stuff. But yeah. Just they'll come back or something? Yeah. Look at that, Tony. Yep. You almost got, like, a way you lean it or something. You use something weird. Pro style. This thing looks so sick. Yeah, just... Are they all similar? I kind of didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah, they're all pretty similar. This one's an inch longer than all my normal ones, so this could be different as well. And it's going to the music. Every time you hit a key, it's like, wow. Wow. Because you know I'm so busy doing other stuff that you know painting boards is not high on the priority list. Where where did it start? Like what was the first? Do you remember what your first super psych drawing on? Like was it paper at school or was it surfboards? Or, you know, it was on my bedroom walls. Serious? Yeah, I used to paint on my bedroom walls. When how old? Like, like young? Like three. taking shovel from your parents, kind of. My parents just were like I was the last of five kids. Wow. No buckles. Thank you, Matt, for the rushed surfboards. Thank you, Drew, for the art. 